hey guys welcome back to my channel today I will be sharing my 39 week pregnancy update I'm just gonna go ahead and get started it's gonna be a quick one so pretty much how I look is how I feel I'm so over this guys I'm so done being pregnant I'm done I'm done so I'm currently 39 weeks um, my due date is next week. I'm super excited. Hopefully I don't have to wait until then or after. <laughs> but um, my grandmother is actually coming from New York um, today. Actually, she will be here. So this video probably won't be going up until Thursday. Um, yeah, but she'll be coming in today. So I'm super excited. So as soon as she gets here, tomorrow I'm going to be walking steps I'm going to be bouncing on exercise balls I am going to um, eat pineapples I'm going on all fours I am doing everything I possibly can to naturally induce labor except for the castor oil thing I'm probably not going to be doing that because I hear that um, it makes you poop and I don't want to poop <laughs> during birth I mean I know you probably will or you have or you do but um if I can you know stay away from that I'm definitely gonna try <laughs> but um, everything else I am going to be trying starting tomorrow because I'm done and I know I'm not at my um, my due date yet I know I'm not past it but I just feel like how active I've been in this pregnancy this baby should have been out <laughs> And I just can't do anything else. Like I've gotten to the point where getting dressed, putting my pants on, putting underwear on, is just so hard for me. I'm putting my shoes on. And I know I'm not the biggest person in the world. Like I know to most people I'm small. And actually sometimes when I'm like walking around the mall, you know, someone will ask me like, oh, you know, what are you like around seven months? And I'm like, no, I'm not seven months. I'm actually due in two weeks. Or, no, I'm I'm due in this month. And they're just like, oh, wow, you're so tiny. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm glad you guys think that. But I don't feel that way. And I can't do anything. And I still am dealing with that pelvic pain. So there's just so much pressure. And it's just heaviness. And I'm just so done. <laughs> I'm so done. So... Symptoms this week um, have been interesting, um, to say the least. I have been super gassy. I don't know what it is, but I've been really gassy, so I've been dealing with that. Um, my feet have been hurting like crazy, and they actually started to swell. So my feet are now, well, right now they're pretty fine. Yesterday they were super swollen. My boyfriend actually gave me a foot massage, which I hate feet. I hate for people to touch my feet. So I don't normally ask for foot massages. And even when I'm getting pedicures, like I just hate people touching my feet. So he had to give me a massage yesterday. They were throbbing and they hurt really, really, really bad. Um, and they were swollen. So he did that for me. Um, Honestly, it didn't really help. <laughs> it helped as he was doing like massaging the foot, but after he stopped, like it just went back to the normal uh, swollen and hurting. So yeah, um, I'm super tired, like super tired. Today I'm probably nesting, but that might be because my grandma's coming. So I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. Excuse, can you guys even see? Yeah, the pile of laundry in the back. I'm, I have a crap ton of laundry to do. Um, and yeah, it's there. So excuse that. Um, let's see. So yeah, I've been super tired. Last weekend, or yeah, last weekend, if I could, I would have slept the entire day. Like, I was so tired. And I did sleep a good majority of the day. And even now, well, not today, because like I said, I think I'm a little nesting a little bit. But other than that, um, other than today, I will sleep if you let me. Like, And I'm not the type to like go ahead and take a nap or I easily can fall asleep. It takes me a while. That's why I normally don't nap. But lately, 
I've just been falling asleep. Like I can be sitting on the couch with the kids and I fall asleep. Just, I'm just falling asleep. I'm super tired. My skin is so itchy right now. I don't know if it's because, especially my belly, of course. I don't know if it's because I'm stretched to the max and so now it's just itching, but I'm super itchy. I'm trying not to scratch. I'm trying to pat, but it's really hard not to scratch. And it's just not only my belly, it's my legs, my arms, my face, like everything is extremely itchy. Um, I have my notes down right here. That's why I keep looking here. Um, my doctor's appointment went well or my midwife's appointment. Um, my belly actually did drop. They measured my belly and I was measuring 34. Um, and what she said is just that I was just like, wait, last week I was like 36. And she's like, oh no, that's nothing to worry about. That just means your belly dropped. The baby dropped even further down. That's why we measure it to make sure, you know, your the growth of your belly should be around the amount of weeks you are, give or take. So she said the 34 is obviously, you know, not hand in hand with the 39. She's like, but that's because your belly has dropped. So completely normal at this stage. Uh, she was telling me that if I do feel throbbing and tingling in my feet again, she said to make sure, she either said to get a belly band, but she was like, at this point, I wouldn't do that. Like one of the ones, the belts that hold up your belly. She said that would help, but she said if you don't, if I didn't have that to just make sure that I, you know, get up and just hold up my belly, she's like the baby's probably pressing on nerves and things like that and that's what's causing the throbbing and the tingling in my feet. So yeah, when I had the swelling, there was no swelling, like my face is not swollen, um, my hands are not swollen, it's just my feet. So I don't know if that day I was just doing too much, but yeah. Um, my blood pressure was 130 over 68. Um, again, back to the high normal. <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine. Um, I actually lost a pound from the last week. Again, nothing to worry about because it was just, it's just a pound and I'm just, I'm getting to the end of the pregnancy. Um, my breasts are super sore. They are growing by the day again <laughs> but they're just really really sore like to the touch so I've been dealing with that and then I also think that I am having some leakage because for the past two nights I've been waking up with spots on my sheets we have like gray sheet underneath here and if I'm gonna be honest I am so I'm usually a person who's cold I'm always cold now I'm always hot, which I know is just the pregnancy, and I'm extremely hot. Not just like, okay, I'm hot, like no, I need everything ripped off. So honestly, the majority of this pregnancy, definitely these past couple of weeks, I just sleep naked. Just completely naked. <laughs> and that's how I sleep. And we sleep with the fan on high, and the AC is usually like on 69. So it's really cold in here, but I'm still super hot. And I don't sleep with the covers on me, so unless it's like, I don't know, maybe towards 3 a.m. I'll put the covers on. But um, that's been happening, and I've been waking up and there was like little spots on my sheets. And I'm just like, what are these spots from? And then I just realized like, oh, my breasts are probably leaking. Because I know a couple of weeks, probably like two weeks ago, they were leaking. So I believe that they're leaking again. Um, it's either that or I'm going on the sheets and I'm just drooling because there's nothing else that it could be. Um, so yeah, I'm still drooling like crazy. Discharge is still um, there. And let's see what else. I keep getting ladybugs landing on our window. Like this is the sixth ladybug within the past two days that I've seen on our window. It's so crazy. But anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> um, let's see. So is there anything else? Oh, I'm back in bitch mode. It's like on full effect. It's like everything is irritating me. And I just think that it's just because I'm just over being pregnant. Like everything's bothering me whether it be with the kids, my boyfriend, my oldest daughter, like just everything has been bothering me and getting to me. So I do have to take a lot of time to myself and 
relax a little bit but yeah other than that that is pretty much it that's all I've been going through this week so hopefully this is my last pregnancy update hopefully the next time you guys see me I will be showing you my birth vlog or something hopefully the baby or something because I'm so over this <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my belly shot okay guys so this is my belly from the front with my shirt down it's from the left side And here's from the right side. And then this is my belly from the front with my shirt up from the left side. And then from the right side and that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video whatever that may be <laughs> bye